Ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys are doing well on this fine Wednesday. Uh, we're here in Michigan, pothole paradise. So today I am borrowing my buddy's 2024 GMC Sierra AT4 with the three liter Duramax engine. So thankfully uh, he was gracious enough to let me borrow this for the week as I'm still in search of a replacement vehicle for myself. What happened with my car uh, here in Michigan, they refused to fix any of the roads that we've paid for and I ended up bending the frame on my 2013 Jetta. So after replacing a bunch of the other components that also broke uh, when that happened was a axle shaft, lower ball joint, and a wheel bearing. Uh, the car is permanently out of alignment as it bent the front end of the unibody frame on the underside of the car. So without some serious work, that car is totaled. RIP. So as I'm looking for a replacement, uh, yeah, I'm basically able to borrow my friend's truck. So shout out to him. Uh, really thankful for that. And as I embark on this week, I have a decent amount of driving planned. And I'm really curious to see what kind of mileage numbers I can put up with this. So when I jumped in it, the average was 20.5 20, 20 lifetime average, uh, lifetime average speed of 44.8. So I just started driving in this thing about 10 miles and I'm at just about 21. So I'm gonna be doing mostly highway with a little bit of city and I would expect to get somewhere between mid to high 20s. Maybe that's too wishful. So this thing's got uh, 17,000 miles on it. Uh, for the duration of this test, I'm gonna keep the auto start stop off. Shouldn't have too much traffic top off the diesel in the DEF and let's see what kind of mileage we can put up. All right, we're jumping off the highway real quick. Gonna throw some fuel in this, maybe get a coffee and keep her moving. Wow. Here we go in Michigan, getting back up to that $4 a gallon diesel. This is one of the cheaper stations here in this greater area in Michigan and yeah that's that's nuts um, four dollars a gallon all right so what are the fuel prices like where you guys live um, are you guys at the four dollar range yet so it's uh, early April here in Michigan and so um, we're just getting started on peak fuel season so typically it'll continue to go up uh, into the summer even regular is getting up there at uh, almost 380 a gallon. So that's starting to get pretty insane. Um, again, people remember, uh, you just you get what you vote for. So quit voting for this trash. Let's go get a refill really quick. All right, after adding some fuel, uh, it's saying 535 miles till empty. I'm gonna reset this get the maximum accuracy for this test. So our start stop is off and away we go. I just roll into the throttle to get up to speed. Um, you can definitely feel the torque in this thing. Uh, it actually feels pretty great and very, very linear. And that's the speed limit. Uh, especially with not even having to give it much throttle, uh, it does pick up quite well. So we're jumping on the highway. Uh, For about we got, 26 miles, continue straight. Thanks, Karen. Uh, we got a little bit of ways to go, and I'll update you guys uh, once I get to my destination how we did. All right, so I broke the 30 MPG mark. About 37 miles into the drive so far. I've uh, been able to keep it fairly constant. I've uh, been at the cruise auto braking distance gap set to minimum so that's where basically it'll let you get as close as the car will let you uh, with the cruise control on uh, to another vehicle to try to control that um, other than that I really haven't intervened too much
total range uh, did go up to 567 after putting 37 miles onto it. So realistically, maybe about 600 to a tank, but I'm really curious to see what that'll actually end up being, given that the car's lifetime average was in the 20s. Off the highway, going to be doing mostly city till I reach my destination. So 31.4, 81 miles so far, 57 miles an hour. So our range went way up. So we're at 579, even though I put 80 mile or 81 miles on it so far. So theoretically, you should be able to, you know get over 650 a tank on this thing, I would assume. All right, I'll update you guys with the final numbers once I hit my destination. So one note is this tire combination. Stay in the middle two lanes. There's so much tire noise, especially anywhere between like 40 and 60 miles an hour. Sick job, dude. Uh, hopefully, you know, that's not with all sets of the off road, like factory tires that the AT4 comes with. It's just kind of a little obnoxious. All right, I have reached my destination. A uh, little city driving, not too bad. Um, I had two stops gas station and then micro center. So yeah, 90 miles, uh, 31.8, uh, yeah, pretty solid so far. So 583 for the range, and I will catch you guys next time I drive. It's a lovely rainy day here in Michigan. Uh, my wife and I are headed up north. Boop. And so we have like just under 300 miles of driving today uh, with the rain, and with it being slightly colder, I expect the mileage to dip a little bit. But for the most part, we're just going to jump on I-75 and just head north. So we'll probably make a few stops along the way. So our current totals, 93.7 miles so far in this tank. 31.1 is the average, average speed of 50.8, with a range of 570. So let's see how these numbers change. Compared to my first day of driving, the second day of driving is significantly worse. Uh, with the rain and colder temperatures around 50, uh, the mileage continued to drop from 31 to 28. Unfortunately, I had a feeling that, yeah, it would continue to go down as the rain picked up and as the temperature continued to drop. And this turned out, in fact, to be the case. Makes me wonder a little bit as the EPA rating does show this thing around 27, Maybe the EPA rating includes a averaging of different climates, uh, different weather, and stuff like that to kind of come up with that holistic number. Anyways, I was quite disappointed to see how much this number did in fact drop. Um, given the split from just a day before, I was doing over five miles per gallon better. Just keep watching and I'll show you where that number goes. How's gonna make you glow? Feel the rhythm and groove. Let it take control. P Funk Vibes gonna shake your soul. Sit melody soaring through the night. Deep bass lines, don't think gonna set it by. Got that funky groove that'll make you move. Hypnotizing beats gonna make you groove. After being on the two lane roads for a while, we finally arrive at our destination where we'll go over our final numbers. So here we go, 338 on the tank so far, 
25.2 is our average, so after a fun weekend, it's time to head home. Jumping back in the car, here we are at 25.1 after doing some more driving, and we have quite a little ways ahead of us. Today the weather is predicted to be a lot nicer with the starting temp of 73 degrees. The weather in Michigan is kind of unpredictable, to say the least. So as it continues to travel upwards, downwards, upwards, downwards, um, it did sort of trend towards the warmer side of the day. And as kind of what I suspected, this truck needs warm weather to get good mileage. Um, so the closer it got to 80, that number for the miles just kept clicking up and up and up. Which, if you're in a really cold climate, um, this would be, I guess, unfortunate because you would never really reap the full potential of this engine. Anyways, uh, the range is low. Let's see how many miles I did on this tank and how many gallons this truck will drink. So the 2023 version of this truck is rocking the LZO Duramax engine, which is the second iteration of the three liter inline six. Um, it is boasting a pretty substantial 305 horsepower, 495 foot-pounds of torque, which um, that is a 10% horsepower increase year over year and a 7.6% torque increase year over year, which is kind of based on um, some tuning and turbocharger differences. So this thing does have the GM 10-speed automatic transmission and puts down that power very, very smoothly. While I was in here, I did notice there was some sort of animal nest on top of what appeared to be either the EGR cooler or the charge pipe. So I went ahead and pulled all that out of there. Um, I'm actually quite curious to see if this will be a problematic thing with animals nesting on that area uh, due to the heat right there and if that would be any future potential fire risk. Overall, this thing is a really great road trip vehicle. Uh, it's nice that you can get over 600 to a tank. Drinking 22.5 gallons. Let's do some total maths. So here we go. Our 643 miles uh, divided by our 22.5 gallons equals 28.57 miles per gallon. Uh, that is better than the EPA rated estimates. So I would call this a win. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.